Welcome to another Digital Anarchy tutorial. I'm Tor Olson, Software QA here at Digital Anarchy, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to download and install any of our video or photo plugins. So obviously the first thing you're going to want to do is download the given plugin that you want to grab. For that we're going to go to our website at digitalanarchy.com, which we have a convenient link to on this main page. And so the first thing we're going to do is grab it. Uh, the one way we can do it is we could go to free trials and it will be found in the Windows demos since we're on a window machine right now. And here's our list of all of our plugins. Now there's another way that you can do it, uh, which is also very simple and straightforward. You could just go to, say I wanted to get the Flickr free plugin, I could click on that. And on the sidebar, you'll be able to see that there is a link to try a free demo of the software. So we're going to go ahead and for this example, I guess we'll choose um, the After Effects or Premiere Pro version of the plugin. And you can see it's downloading down here. And this is going to go directly to the folder that you've designated for all your downloads to go to. Typically, it's set to downloads from the get-go. I can actually go and access that by showing it in a folder. And voila, there it is. I can go ahead and double click on that zip file we have and open up the installer. And kind of, you could just blindly go through this list and just go ahead and click next. Um, right now, I already have the After Effects version installed. I'll go ahead and uninstall it. In the case that you haven't installed it before, you won't get that message. And from here, you'll be able to take a look at the, the end user license agreement. Um, and you can scroll down through this and read through it, or do what most people do, and just go ahead and ignore all of it and click I agree. For this window, you can basically ignore the information here. All of our plugins right now uh, supported only in 64-bit. So I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And here we designate our destination folder. Now, we're pretty good about finding the correct destination folder for you. In this case, we're going to want to put it in the common plugin folder for 7.0, which is the Creative Cloud version. So that's going to extend for Creative Cloud, uh, CC14, and CC15. I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And Install. And it'll go through the installation process. It shouldn't take too long. And our installation is complete. I can finish it. At this point, you'll notice that we had a new window pop up for registering our version of Flickr Free. And this is really convenient for us. It really helps us get to know our users a lot better, get more information about how you found out about us. And we really appreciate you being able to fill out the information and let us know more about you. So in this case, just let the user know I'm Tor. I could input my email address, tor at digitalanarchy.com, as well as how I found out about the plugin. And I am from the US of A. At that point, you can just go ahead and click Submit. And that bit of information is really nice to have for us. Um, and we really appreciate you being able to fill it out. Now, as for the install, we have just installed our plugin, Flickr Free. But in the case that Flickr Free or any of our other plugins aren't showing up in the host app, it's good to check that the file was put in the correct folder location. If it wasn't, you can go ahead and try a reinstall or restart your computer. So just kind of doing a laundry list of all of our plugin locations, I'm going to go to our C folder and open up our program files. For our photo applications, uh, mainly Lightroom and Photoshop, for Lightroom you can go to Digital Anarchy and all of our Lightroom plugins are located here. In the case of Photoshop, I would go to Adobe and then select the Photoshop version. So in the case of say CC 2015, I would go here into Plugins and our Digital Anarchy family is located here. If I wanted to go to one of the Adobe video host applications, or any of them for that matter, I would go to the common folder down at the bottom of the Adobe folder, and inside will be the plugins folder for any of the 
multiple versions that we have installed here. Again, in the case of Creative Cloud, you're going to want to go into 7.0, into the Media Core folder, and our family will be in there. Just to backtrack a little bit, if I wanted to access the plugin in my Avid folder, I would go into Avid, and it'll be in the AVX2 plugin family. There is our Digital Anarchy plugin family right there. And finally, in the case of OFX, so that means Assimilate Scratch, Nuke, DaVinci Resolve, and Vegas, amongst others, I would want to go into Common Files, and you can see we have our OFX folder right there with our Digital Anarchy family. In the case that the troubleshooting with the reinstalls and the restarting of your computer does not work, you can shoot us an email at sales at digitalanarchy.com and we'll be able to respond as soon as we're able with any technical questions that you have. So now that we know where to download and install any of our given plugins for any of the given host apps, we're going to take a look at where the plugins are located in each host app and how to apply them to your footage. Now for most of these examples, we're going to be on the Mac operating system, but this should translate just as well to Windows operating systems. In the case of After Effects, as will be the case with most of the host applications, it's fairly straightforward. You would find in the Effects and Presets menu over here, the Digital Anarchy plugin family. Open up the dropdown, and in this case we're going to be doing some skin smoothing, so I would click and drag Beauty Box over to my footage, directly in the preview window or onto the clip down here, the layer. And voila, we've applied Beauty Box to our footage. In the case of Premiere, it's gonna be something similar. In this case, I would go down to my effects palette, go over to my video effects, scroll down to Digital Anarchy, open up the drop down and again I can just take my plugin and click and drag it onto my clip and I will be able to see all of its controls and the effect controls for OFX some of the most common uses we get are in Resolve, Scratch, and Vegas in the case of Resolve I would go to my color tab go up to the OFX button in the upper right hand corner click on it and from here, I'll be able to find my Digital Anarchy family, along with all the plugins that are relevant. From here, I would just click and drag it onto my node. There you can see the designation that there is a open effects effect applied. On the right sidebar, you'll be able to see that all the effect controls are there as well. Along the lines of OFX, applying the effect in Scratch, what I would want to do uh, initially is create a layer uh, I would be able to access this through the Layers tab at the top of the screen. I'll just rename this uh, BB for Beauty Box. Then, what I would want to do is select Shot, and from here, select Insert. And here I'll be able to access any of my plugins, such as Beauty Box. I can either double-click or apply the selection. Now in Vegas, what we'll want to do is select this Event FX button. It'll allow us to select any effects that we want to apply to our footage. In this case, I would just select Beauty Box and go ahead and click on Add. It will be added to our effects chain, and we can go ahead and click OK. And at that point, it'll show us all the parameters for the effect. You can tell it's been added by the fact that the Event FX button is now green. For Avid, first what you'll want to do is find the plugin that you'll be applying to your clip. In this case, I'm going to go to Tools and go to the Effect Palette. The shortcut is also Command-8. And from here, I'll be able to find the Digital Anarchy family and apply our effect. Click and drag directly onto your clip. And I'll be able to review any of the parameters for the effect by going to the effect editor, once again under tools. And voila, there they all are. For Lightroom, what I can do to apply my effect is I can either right click and select edit in to find any of the plugins that I have installed. 
in this case uh, BB Box, Primat, and Tune It. Or I could go to Photo, Edit In, and select my plugin from here as well. In this case, it'll be Beauty Box. I'll just go ahead and edit it as a TIFF file, and it should open up the UI to Beauty Box. And finally, for Photoshop, what I'll do here is I would just go into Filter, and near the bottom of my filter list, there should be a drop down for all of my Digital Anarchy plugins. In this case, I would bring this into, uh, say, TuneIt. And again, a lot like Lightroom will open up a separate window to open up the TuneIt UI, where you can edit your photo. And that's really all there is to installing and finding the plugin in your given host application. If you want to give any of our plugins a try in your host app of choice, you can go to digitalanarchy.com, where we have free trials of all of our software, as well as many other very useful tutorials. Again, I'm Tor Olson, software QA here at Digital Anarchy, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.